I want to talk about how you lift your glutes, how you arch your back, all of the terms that people say to you that made absolutely no sense to my body because people said, lift your glutes, which that's me. This is standing normal with no tilt. And then people said, lift your glutes. Okay, that's, or that's, they'd say, arch your back as hard as you can. For me, if I'm thinking from the back, that's as far as it goes. It feels like it's stopping right here in my spine. Like there is literally a, a break there, a stop that keeps me from moving any further. Okay, so that doesn't do very good for the glutes. If I instead forget about my back and I think about my pelvis here is a wine glass, okay? So right here on my pelvis, there's this wine glass and it's full of red wine. I've got a drain on the floor in front of me. This, this is like an overflowing glass of wine and I wanna pour it into the floor right here in front of me. So the first time you ever do it, it's kind of ugly and awkward. So I'm gonna like spread my legs because I'm afraid I'm gonna spill this red wine everywhere, right? So if I'm upright, if I have to a glass of wine here and I wanna try and pour it into the ground, I've gotta tip myself, right? This is a, a wine glass that's situated like this and in order to dump it into the floor, I've got to get it to do this motion, okay? I'm gonna actually get a, a glass just so you'll see what I'm talking about. I should have had this ready. Okay, all right, so I've got a bowl, my dog bowl. <laughs> Actually, all right, so I've got a glass and I've got a bowl in the floor, okay? If this glass is my whole pelvis and I wanna pour it there, and it's attached to me, I've got to then tip my whole pelvis to try and get it to pour into that bowl. Okay, I just poured water all over my wood floor. <laughs> You're welcome. But that's what I want you to think about, okay? Let me wipe that up. All right, so we're pouring it all out pouring it out, okay? So if I don't think about my back, instead I'm thinking from here I'm gonna pour, the shape in the glutes goes from trying to lift with my back to I'm pouring it and all that feels like inside is like I'm collapsing the bones inside themselves. So I'm gonna try and get closer so you can see, okay. If I try and pull from here, that's as much of an arch as I get. And opposing coaches will say, no, arch harder, harder, harder. This is harder, harder, harder. The only thing I can do because of the limitations of the spine is to bend my back over like this. I can't arch this anymore unless I act like I'm trying to pour that on the floor. Now the glutes are lifted. Is that make a little more sense instead of pulling from here where you only can go so far i'm i would be doing all of this if i weren't just letting it come from the hips so the two hip bones here that's your glass okay so i'm going to pour it I'm over exaggerating so you see what I'm doing. So if I'm telling you to dip your hips, that's what I mean. Trying to figure out how to do it looks more, let's see, I'm trying to get a good angle. Like you gotta kind of spread to figure out how your body does that. Do that several times. Then you can be, say, in your back pose and do it, or your figure pose. If someone says to, I'm just trying to show you what it looks like from the back. If someone says, lift your glutes, 
that's as much as they can go. But if you put the pelvis into it, you get more lift. Okay. So we discussed how you're tipping your pelvis, okay? And I want you to get to where you can just, like I've got my heels together right now, like a figure, and I'm just trying to bring my arms up out of the way so you can see. But I've got my heels together, so if I'm lifting in my back, that's as much as I can go. I'm trying to shake it out. Pardon the cat walking around there. <laughs> so I'm going to show the difference. Right now I'm arching my back, okay? But it's not coming from the back. I'm tipping the hips, okay? So let's see, pardon the panty line there, but this is what that looks like from the back. If I've got my heels together, feet are kind of positioned about like that just for the typical figure pose. If I think about arching from right here, that's as much lift in my glutes as I can get. I'm relaxing it again. Instead, I'm gonna dip my hips and I can get that much more, but my body is still upright. See, if I try and pull from the side, legs together, and excuse me, if I try and pull from the back, that's as much lift as I can get if I'm telling my back to arch my glutes. Legs are still together. My upper body didn't change, even though technically I'm more rounded out, but the judges aren't seeing this part. They're only seeing from back here. They're also coming from down, <clears throat> a downward angle looking up. So I'm, if you were seeing me doing a figure pose from the back, but you're looking at me from the side, This is what you're gonna see if I'm lifting from my back. That's, my, that's as much as I can get my glutes up. So a lot of us are still gonna have a little bit of saggy skin down here, right? And if I instead take it there, I get much more lift in my glutes because I'm using my pelvis to create that lift. Straightening out that, that saggy skin there, but primarily lifting the glutes. That's gonna also let your hamstrings look better. So it's easier to do the move if your legs are apart because you can get a little bend in there. So it's easier for bikini girls. But once you get that, that motion down, then you can do it just less prominently with your legs together. So see, legs are together. This is just with the back. This is with the pelvis. It's not a big move, but it does make a big difference back here.